Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from the road famous comedy store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony uh, Volume 3. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Holy shit. It's really happening, everybody. Oh my goodness, what an electric Monday night, huh? We're fucking banging. Keep it going for Brian Redband, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, guys. Shout out to Jamie Vernon, who couldn't make it, but his camera's still set up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have the great, the house artist, Ryan J. Ebelt, with a blank sheet of paper in front of him right now. He draws every single episode as it happens. Right now, it's a blank sheet of paper. At the end, you're going to see that he made a poster specifically for the episode that you're at. And how about we make some crazy fucking noise for that amazing performance by one of my best friends, Jeremiah Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That's awesome. Stepping in as the band leader tonight. Uh, you know him as uh, uh, one of uh, Pat Reagan's uh, main cohorts. He was on the sax last week. And Jeremiah, one of the best. You're with us tonight. Good to be here. What's up, everybody? Jeremiah, what a rock star. After, after his electric performance, he gets to say, what's up, just like that. <laughs> hey, what's up? Remember me from four minutes ago? Uh, how's it going, Jeremiah? Are you excited? It's good. I'm ready to rip this sax and see some awesome comedy. I'm pumped to have a saxophonist who's the band leader tonight. Pat Reagan's going to join us at some point uh, throughout the show. Guys, huge announcement right now. We've been doing Kill Tony live on the road. We've been selling out every single city we've gone to. Pittsburgh, Columbus, Dallas, Austin. We have been murdering. And now we announce March 24th, Seattle, Washington, everybody. There you go, Seattle. Bang, 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 bang. And we're doing it. Uh, March 24th, live at the parlor, live. Uh, that's a really big deal. And I'm still headlining Caroline's next week. That's for you New Yorkers watching the live stream right now. Yeah. Live streamers, hello to you, to the thousands. Live audience, make some noise so that the people, so the people listening, the thousands on Ustream and the hundreds of hundreds watching on Periscope, uh, this show is live as fuck. And I'm at Caroline's next week, February 5th and 6th, and... Uh, Hopefully no snow, man. Oh, it's going to be terrible. That was close. Yeah. I'm there next week, uh, February 5th and 6th, and uh, Vancouver, all of the last week of February. So get tickets for my shows. And uh, one, fl one shot, my Netflix special. I made a Netflix special, everybody. And you can find that on... Netflix. You, on the front page, even. It was all over the place, Tony. Where Good we job, are man. trending on Netflix. We are popular on Netflix. And uh, if your algorithm is on point, I should be on your front page. <laughs> if, if, if I'm not on your front page, that means you like bad shit. Yeah. Netflix has a fucking algorithm to it. Yeah. Um, so I'm so excited about, uh, you know, one of my favorite things to do is every single Monday for two and a half years, we have this awesome show where we get to talk to brand new comedians and uh, some established comedians that just landed in Hollywood and all the shapes and sizes of different types of uh, comedians that are newer here at the comedy store. We're just getting to meet them. And every single week, I have two of the funniest comedians in the world, sometimes three, but uh, usually two. Uh, on the show to talk with these comedians with me. Always two of the funniest. You know these guys from Comedy Central, Workaholics, uh, HBO, Comedy Central, uh, some network shows, some movies. Two of my funniest friends, two of the best comedians in the world. Put your hands together for Adam Ray and Matt Bronger, everybody. Come on. Oh, shit. This is going to be... This is going to be one of those episodes, I can just feel it, where people are going to be like, was that, was that pre-written to all happen this nice. way? Nice. <laughs> was that sax solo pre-written when you were... Uh... I like the chime in on the sax. Oh, yeah? Just the, just the occasional... It sounds like one guy in the band is drunk, and he just <laughs> yeah. keeps piping up every once in a while. There Perfect. It is. Yeah. Exactly. That's all we Nailed want it. out of you, Nailed man. It. Anything he can, more... He can take a note. Yeah. He took a good note. Fuck yeah. Drunk sax, though, is, we were just talking about, probably the best. Not uh, like drunk sax. <laughs> not like drunk sax. Like drunk flu, drunk oboe, probably going to cause some concerns for the rest of the group. Yeah, but drunk sax, always smooth. Uh, okay, ever, cool, yeah. There was nothing ever, funny about that. This was just a conversation <laughs> we, we were having. It. When the saxophone gets yeah, we drunk, it, yeah. it's fine. Welcome back to the show, guys. You've both been guests on it before. Uh, how's life? What's going on? Everything good? Welcome back. Yeah, everything's great. 
Uh, I love great. Yeah. Had a Happy New Year. Yes, definitely. What, what's your yeah. cutoff for Happy New Year, by the way? Uh, it was uh, New Year's Day. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not like birthday yeah. month for somebody. Yeah, once the day hits, <laughs> yeah. that's it. You it's look, pretty you much look ahead to the next holiday. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Adam, I'm like, I'm like, now when people say Happy New Year's, I'm like, is it already 2017? <laughs> Your podcast has been all over the place. I see it on TMZ all the time. You've had a lot Is of big. Yeah. You, oh, you've been thanks. Blowing the fuck oh, wait. Up. You meant Adam. Adam <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> Uh, has, has, you have a podcast? Oh, yeah. It's called yeah. Ding Donger with Matt Bronger. No one's ever heard of it, but it's fun. But yours is blowing for up. It? Go ahead. It is. That's a great name yeah. for a podcast. What's the premise behind that podcast? I hitchhike into your life for half an hour, talk shit, and jump out. It's always me. I There's no. I, I did guests for the very first time at Sketchfest uh, this year. Who was your like guest? Fellow hitchhikers. Uh, Jonah Ray, Solomon Giorgio, and Beth Stelling. Funny people. It was amazing. That must have been amazing. But I was, I was just chiming in like literally as a joke because it's funny to me how unknown my podcast is. But yeah. go ahead with yours. It takes it's, time to build crushing it. the world. Matt, I want to thank you uh, for dressing like you're in uh, season two of Fargo, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I'd say half Fargo, half the guy that moves the bikes in Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> you know, like half, like half and half. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm excited about tonight's <laughs> show. Uh, two of the funniest comedians uh, hanging out, talking comedy with comedians. Um, comedians, over 40 of you signed up for the chance to do one minute on this stage tonight. Wow. Always so fun. Comedians, you get called up. You come to the stage. You do 60 seconds. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Ah, oh, that's adorable. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> yes. What the fuck was that? 3D. 3D. I love it. Uh, so let's have some fun. You guys ready to kick off Kill Tony or what? Here we go. All right. I feel it. I feel some, uh, I feel some magic in this bucket here tonight. Let's start off with a comedian named Nicole Buchanan. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, I'm a little worried about my dad's health. Uh, we went to the movies a couple weeks ago and I heard snoring next to me, but when I turned, he was awake. So I was like, oh shit, that's just how you breathe now. <laughs> like a bulldog. <laughs> I always tell him that he should, he should try to go to a doctor or eat healthier. Or I say, you're going to put yourself in an early grave. And I swear to God, my dad always goes, well, good, then you'll be happier. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, you know that's not true. Like, you don't make enough money for me to care. <laughs> not inheriting anything. Uh, no, my family loves me. They like to ask me why I'm still single. But like before I can answer, they like answer for me. Um, they're like, you're too picky, Nicole. You're too picky. I'm like, excuse me? I don't know. I guess I just imagine most families being like, nobody's good enough for my baby girl, but my family's like, lower your standards. <laughs> Who Talk, do you yeah, think Nicole you are, Buchanan. bitch? Thank you. Hello, Nicole. Great Welcome job. to the show. Thank you. Fuck yeah. Turn the page by Bob Seeger. <laughs> Uh, Nicole Buchanan, <laughs> welcome to the show. First time, right? Yeah. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Orange County. How long have you been on stand-up? Like six months. Why does it look like you're doing the Pledge of Allegiance right now? <laughs> <laughs> I, a little bit, I a little bit feel like I'm going to throw up I'm trying to hold it back. You feel like you're going to throw I'm up? I'm a little nervous. Oh, that nah, would be relax. so great. Yeah, please, happen. please, this throw up anything. in this bucket, please. cannot encourage that yeah. more, actually. No, I, I, I always love yeah. a good Kill Tony first. Uh, having somebody puke would be so fucking No epic. one's puked on the show yet. No. Are you really about to? There's a door right there if you no, want. No, she knows. You puke. Your hand in your <laughs> chest. No, her eyes are up. watering. If you're really going to puke. <laughs> oh, my God, your eyes are watering. There's an exit door no, right there. Fine. Puke on my dick. Nice. Hey. How many minutes in before a puke on my dick? I was going to ask if Red Band was here. Yeah. But he is. He's definitely here. Boy. Just checking it. Did you guys know Red Band was here? It's not even 10 o'clock yet. On a Someone night when a I specifically said before the show. Oh, my God. I said there's people coming tonight to watch the show. Keep it clean, man. And I need it a little less rapey than usual. Yeah. And uh -oh. I... 
Hey, to his credit, he I, held out as long as he could. He did, man. It's like that a, was easily a minute. Yeah, there and was almost three another. You did. There wasn't even enough time for a second cat to meow. <laughs> Before you go to puke on dick. Stretch, that's your first base puke on dick. So sorry, I'm so sorry. It, Unfucking. You did amazing. Oh, stop yeah. it! Stop it! Don't you fucking do that shit now. Uh, you can't we try to ramble transition. and sound smart. Puke on my cock. No, but seriously, I you were really, really material. Thank you. That helped. No, I mean, I thought I thought you did really well. Thank I thought you yeah. did really well, and, and you you did you took the bullet. That's not easy. Let's have a hand for that for for yeah. Yeah, up here. In, oh, definitely. And. Is the uh, is the is this going to be like a staple uh, prop with you? The net, or do you just not trust any of the fellas here in the crowd? To I just wasn't prepared to come up. I just it was there. It was there. So yeah. I brought it with me. And For sure. We didn't like I play with it. It's smart not to leave it out there. Yeah, it is, this yeah. is the store. You know. Yeah, anything yeah. can happen. Uh, so I, I didn't get an answer. I, I just remember uh, that uh, you were almost going to puke. Um, well, how long have you been doing stand up? About six months. Six months, yeah. mostly in Orange County. Uh, no, I go to UCLA, so I've been doing it around LA. I love that. What do you do for work? Uh, nothing. Wow, <laughs> interesting. You I'm just... a student. What are I... you studying? Uh, what am I saying? Political science. Yeah. What's it? So you don't have a job. So if you don't not make it, what's in the bag? Then like, what are you holding in there? <laughs> like, what do you? What could you be stocking up for? Like, what's? I what? I don't know. Her ID, money. For what, sure. Have you ever okay. seen a purse this before? Is it? No, it's it has like nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's yeah. nothing. Yeah. yeah, a little uh, leopard, leopard skin wallet there. I got my like real wallet stolen. Oh shit! Oh, that's why I have. I got my real wallet stolen, so th this is like a shitty one with a broken zipper. Oh, it looks like a lot of fun. Room. Hence, why you keep your purse on your yeah. person at all times. Yeah. yeah, we asked you. We asked you cautious. what's in your purse, and you just pulled out a tiny little purse. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's very impressive. It's almost like one of those uh, Russian, Russian dolls. dolls. Yeah. 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 Nice. Very cool. <laughs> what's that red? I think that was worthy of a sax solo moment, Jeremiah. We said Russian doll thing at the. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's the same right, one as before. Yeah. Let's that's definitely uh, turn the page on that. Uh, <laughs> so Nicole, what do you like to do for fun? What what are like? Uh, how do you? What's your something interesting about you? Like you're into snowboarding. Snow I did that once. I was really bad at it. Yeah. How hard did you puke while snowboarding? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't puke. Um, <laughs> I only puke on dicks. Oh, but Jeremiah! <laughs> what the wow. fuck is going on here? These are the people that well, I invite to do this with me every week, by the way. I, just, I think you've got a name for your bombard, episode, though. Bombarding yeah. me. <laughs> the yeah. name of the episode, yeah. I think, should be I Only Puke on Dicks. And now, it's, and now it's gotten to the point where I can just tell there's going to be like 85 more callbacks to this throughout the night. Um, That's not enough, quite honestly. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Nicole, what, what is something? So you've only snowboarded once. Tell us something. Uh, what's your favorite hobby? Uh... Well, I don't want to call this a hobby, but this is my favorite thing to do in the entire world. Don't but, say uh, it, Brian. Don't say it, Brian. <laughs> don't say oh, it. Jesus. See what I'm talking about? We're not even going to move past this at any point. Come on. Um, I like to watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm being honest. I know oh, yeah. I'm boring, but like I'm being honest. Do you want me to say something not honest? Like I, I no, like to I would surf 10-foot waves. There must well, be something other than watching TV that you like to do. Are you ticklish? Brian, oh boy. Brian, Jesus Brian, Christ. Brian, I'm begging you. We have to move have on and like roll system. on to like another style. of. I would, uh, I would love to know, because uh, you got visibly a little nervous. You, you were very comfortable when you came up, but then you got you know, a little teary-eyed and uh, saw the person. It was when shaking. I like, turned and saw you guys. because For I. Sure. That's good, because it's, it's, it's unpredictable. Guys. But you had your you had your stuff. But now. I want to know, like, what is there anything more uh, that gets you more nervous than what you were in that moment? Uh... Sex? Oh shit! Oh wow! You get nervous okay. during sex. That's really nervous. Um, really? Why is that? Pukey? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Maybe. I mean. Brian. That's a I really get it. Like you found, thing, you found like I a think. loophole straight to the spinal cord of this audience. And I, I think if that were the case, she would have mentioned she gets so nervous she pukes during sex because it's just <laughs> it's an easy transition. Yeah. But you've gotten pukey during sex. No, not uh, no. I guess I haven't been. But you this said nervous. that you get more nervous during sex. I I guess I just feel more vulnerable. Ooh. This this too. Um, 
No, I haven't. I, I, I haven't ever gotten pukey. No, this is the first time that's happened. Wow. What'd you have for dinner tonight? I haven't eaten in like since this morning. What do you think would have come up? I don't know. Huh. You're dogging Honestly. him. Yet you're branding her a pukey. <laughs> Well, I love it. Uh, Nicole, I wish there was anything more interesting about you other than the fact Me that you too. watch TV. She's what very young. We, we really could have riffed some stuff, what figured about out some, maybe some new material that you could talk about. about have, you, you have great writing. Like, like your yeah. jokes are perfect. All, your, all you need to do is really work on the stage time. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have like 10 minutes, 5 minutes? Like, How much time do you have, would you say? Um, I'd say that I have... I just got together like a really tight five that I'm happy with. Um, and then I'm... <laughs> hey, that's not bad. Six months? And, that's not no, bad. and then I, I have probably like 10 to 15 minutes that I'm working on. How much of that 15 minutes includes other weird uh, things about your pops? Like the, the about breathing. About my dad? Yeah, like the breathing thing I feel like is just scratching the surface. With... Um, I have a thing kind of about how I got into sports so my dad would love me. Uh, so that's. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. What sports? I'm a big uh, baseball fan and football. Oh shit. Now your dad's in really bad shape, huh? Baseball and football? You play f and football. Oh, no, I didn't play football. No, oh, no follows. I, I follow follows. sports. Yeah, just gotcha. sports yeah. I did. I played softball and soccer, and I did taekwondo, and I uh, did Ooh. gymnastics. And I, did <laughs> I think you buried the lead. You should have started with a taekwondo. No Wait. one saw that coming. Like, if you just, you know, kicked Red Band in his face when he mentioned the puke on the <laughs> dick oh. thing, would have set the party off right. I'm just saying. <laughs> So, Nicole, you you got into sports to impress your dad, but your dad is so out of shape that he breeds like a bulldog? Yeah, he's pretty out of shape. What, what's his story? He's obese? No, he's, I mean, like, he's just getting fat and old, like you do. That's yeah, so obese, yeah. Sure. And he's what was the movie you guys were watching that he was having such a tough time putting air together? <laughs> I think that was when we went to go see like uh, an intense the flick. Hunger Games. I yeah, think. for sure, there you go. Uh, that's a good one. What if she was like the heat? What if she was like that? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> when you came on screen in the heat. Yes. We was <laughs> oh, what? He said, what if it was the heat? Oh, gotcha. Jesus yeah. Christ. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Lines between the dots here. <laughs> uh, well, you were composed as nervous as you seem like you say you were. I try. Yeah, yeah, you've come a long way. Now you're now you're doing the uh, the reach around on the head. Uh, <laughs> you know, you have a, yeah, yeah, you're chilling out. It's yeah, good. totally. You're very comfortable. Um, it was nice to meet you, and thank you. Come back again soon, Nicole Bacan. Yeah, keep Bacana. rocking, Nicole Bacan. She's adorable. <laughs> it's got an after-school special vibe to it, but like all the kids are. I'm gonna pull another name out of the bucket, and it is the name of Kayla Bernadette. Everyone, there here we, we go. go. Ah, I love a good foghorn blow. <laughs> you always have. That's a good one. The salty dog in the me, you know. Salty dog in me. I pulled another name out of the bucket. It's Mike Whalen. There we go. Yeah. Hey, how you guys doing? Good. I know what you're thinking. He doesn't look Mexican. Uh, I, uh... I do, uh, I work construction, unfortunately. Uh, made some bad choices in high school. But uh, back in the day, I was in the Navy. I joined at 19. I fucked the Navy, right? Yeah, no, nothing for them. I don't know why I joined. I think the recruiter was really compelling. I was young. He uh, sounded a lot like Christopher Walken. He pulled me in the office. He said, young man, I saw you out there perusing the halls. It looked like a lost puppy. I'd be damned if I'm going to see you waste your life chasing the muff around. Smoking dope. When I was your age, I was in Vietnam. Long story short, I had a watch shoved up my ass. It would take me around 126 minutes to tell that entire story. Young man, I want you to see the world with the Navy. And uh, he was right, I did get to see the world, uh, but he forgot to mention the world's 95% water. I've seen every kind of water you can imagine. Uh, and then I got out of the Navy and started working at Trader Joe's. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> wow. That that's like the a, best punchline ever! Yeah. <laughs>
Mike Whalen. Welcome to the show. How's Thank it going? You. Good. Talking to the mic. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Long Island, New York. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, I was doing it for about two years, and then I got a different job, so I haven't done stand-up in uh, like a year and a half, two years. That's cool. Uh, what was the job? Uh, pipeliner. So Pipe I've been out of L.A. Pipeliner? What is it? What, what is, uh, line in? We're going to oil, crude oil, pipeline. Oh. So my last job was in Colorado. The next one's going to be in Texas. Hell yeah. That's, That's cool. funny because he said, he said I, got, I got another job. And I'm like, you can do stand-up and still do. And you said pipeline. I was like, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you're just out there, right? You're like yeah, basically. we live in a motel and uh -huh. work six days a week. Wow. And that's uh, how often out of the year is that? Uh, the next job's in Texas. I have to, this is kind of boring. Uh, I got to get $600 together to get in labor's union. So once I pay that, then that's all probably like seven months. Yeah, oh. you, oh, you're right. That was pretty fucking boring. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I would. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, I would love to know: Is the, uh, did the was it Trader Joe's? Because we had to hurry up and, yeah. and and just kind of fly through that profession, which I would love to have heard. What I, I was just, I'm curious: Was there at some point going to be? And what if Christopher Walken worked at a Trader Joe's or something like that? How about no Christopher Walken at all? Isn't that a law of being on stage? Like no more Christopher Walken ever? You guys, I, you guys I, clap, I, I, but you guys clap, but you idiots were uh, laughing at the shit. By yeah, the way, I, mean, I to, almost wanted to, to kick you credit, fuckers out. Dude. To, to his credit, that was a really was a great good Christopher, Christopher Walken. Walken. And I think like, that's what, And that just proves I think what? they were never done. Whatever. Whatever. He talked about the watch in his ass. Yeah, that's, that's a Christopher <laughs> Walken line. That's like like done a million, million, million. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not saying don't do it. But, but Mike, you were yeah. in the Navy, right? Yes. So you can you can do anything you want. Um, yeah, he served his country. Yeah, exactly. Anybody who anybody who's been in the services can do any impression they want. Do you do other impressions? I think that's the best one. Well, that, that's the best one. But yeah, what well, other ones? Well, what's the, yeah. Let me get. Can I guess? Sure. I bet you do a little bit of an Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> do you uh, do you do a John Caparulo? <laughs> That'd be great if you did. I guess a Mexican John Caparillo. Or... Are you really Mexican? No, no. He, he made that joke up top. Right. No, it's yeah. the work boots. I was. <laughs> <laughs> was that I, mean, I thought that, uh, that that line about uh, you see the world, but the problem is the world is mostly water. That's like that's really good. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm surprised that I I haven't heard anyone say that. Have you heard that before? No. You know, no. that's a and that's a perfect thing from your perspective as a person who's in the Navy. So. You know, it it didn't it didn't land like it like it should have. I don't know what exactly where to put it or whatever, but it was just like it was one of those ones that made me go, yeah, fuck, good one. Right. You know. So were you one of the funnier dudes in the uh, in the navy? Like, what would you do to like to get the attention of the other? Well, I got in trouble in Singapore. We were supposed to be back on the ship at uh, ten o'clock, and it was our last night. So I held up the ship's movement. I was in a brothel, and I was. Oh shit! Wait, wait, let's yeah. stop there for a second. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, hey, Tony, can yeah. you tell the can you tell this story as Christopher Walken? Goes? Yeah, I actually would That's like. A great that. idea. Just, just wait, tell the give story. It, give us a give us a moment of the brothel. Like, just paint the picture of how nice or shitty the brothel was, and then it was continue. really nice. Like, you get. I don't. I can't. I can't understand you in that voice. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know what you're fucking talking about. Yeah. Do we walk? Yeah. <laughs> wow, this guy really, uh, <laughs> really an improv guru over here. Uh. Yes, and but. So, what was this brothel like? It was a classy brothel. I <laughs> come on. I was there for about three hours. Uh, one of the perks was they shower you before and after. <laughs> come on, man. That's it. Yeah. See, what we learned tonight is that a Christopher Walken <laughs> I impression is acceptable while uh, taking questions or yes. telling real-life stories. I, I mean, that would be an amazing setup. Yeah. Just like I held the boat up with, uh, I was in a brothel. <laughs> I have any questions, I'm going to answer them in Christopher Walken's voice. <laughs> or what? Audience would oh, be like, the fuck? Are you, what? But then all of a sudden he's going to do it and <laughs> it be does. great. Or what if he was holding, he got in trouble for holding up the ship because he was doing Christopher Walken to the sluts in the brothel. <laughs> And, and they were like, we love it, we love it. That's it, you know. Eating it up. Just, I have a watch in my ass, too. There it is. <laughs> to uh, the sluts. <laughs> what, Jesus um, Christ. what was going on in this brothel? Well, I was finished, and then I was walking outside. Yeah. And shore patrol noticed, because everyone else was on the ship. This was around 3 o'clock in the morning. The ship was leaving the next day, so they took me into custody. Uh -huh. And what I didn't know was the air boss who's in charge of the entire air department <laughs> on the ship, had woken everyone up around 11 o'clock and made them stand at attention until I was back on the ship. Oh. So shore patrol marched me in front of around four or 500 people. 
In their pajamas, boxers. Can you, can you stretch out those words when you say them again, please? <laughs> pajamas. Yeah, there boxers. You go. Yeah. 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 Way funnier. Yeah. Perfect. Very funny. Thank you. Yeah. All it takes is a little direction. <laughs> And that's what this show's about. It's about the little fucking pump. It's a just tiny adjustment. Once you realize the tricks, you know, it's all there. So, Mike, uh, when exactly do you go back to Texas again? And what part of Texas are you going to? Vic Victoriaville. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting walking on that one, uh, but he's still there, and I love that. You know, maybe that's your thing. Maybe, you know, maybe walk-in impressions are hacky, but, but becoming Christopher Walken and just doing him all the time, like in life, I think that's pretty original. Haven't seen that yet. I mean, it's not really an impression if you're just, if you just talk that way. Um, have you ever, uh, have you ever met a celebrity? Yeah. <laughs> I have, I have. It always gets me with if he's going to do the impression or not. I never really know. Uh, well, that's fun, Mike. So, you well, know. Wait, who, who'd you meet? Here I've met uh, Chris Rock. <laughs> You're back at it. I love that. Daniel <laughs> uh, Tosh. Ooh. How about any non-comedians or like something obscure that you wouldn't expect? Like you're, you're I met Lawrence Fishburne for at sure. Trader Joe's. Yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. See, open with that next time. Yeah. I'm, I'm immediately intrigued. And you get a sax solo. I waited to, to bother him while I was in the store. I watched him leave and then I followed him out to his car to get a picture for my Instagram. Oh wow. my God. Yo, can I just suggest something? You start either a podcast or some sort of show or just whatever where you tell Trader Joe stories <laughs> from your life as fucking Christopher Walken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. Chris, Chris, Christopher Walken, Trader Joe employee. Chronicles. I ended up getting fired from Trader Joe's. Oh, uh, what the uh, fuck happened? You did? I was yeah. legitimately bummed out by God that. God damn wow. it. I was like, oh, I, God, do you remember you the one on Santa Monica with all the Russians? <laughs> yeah, the one, is, the one is gone now. The little, I used to do impressions of the Russians. What, uh, would, what would they get? What was their, their, their hot uh, item that they pulled from the shelf? Kefir. Kefir. Pomegranate kefir. <laughs> this is lovely. <laughs> but I would do impressions of them, and the managers got the impression that I really spoke Russian. Uh, so they'd call me over, they'd have a disgruntled little Russian woman, and they'd be like, hey, Mike, uh, you, you speak Russian, right? Yeah, yeah, I speak Russian. Oh, no. And I, I, yeah, I swear to God, so I'd go over and just be old woman with a receipt, and she'd be like, And they'd be like, Mike, tell her that those are the organic apricots, they're not on sale. And I, I would take the receipt and just go, I'm not saying anything. I'm fucking... And the, managers, and the managers are like nodding to her like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it? Now get the fuck <laughs> out. Yeah. And then they're like, Mike, what'd she say? I'm like, well, for one thing, uh, Paul, apparently you were really rude. <laughs> you got to do yeah, that yeah, on that stage. stage. Yeah, that's your story, that's story right there. And, and that's the story for your act. you were doing it and everything. Yeah, it's yeah amazing, you were into so. you relaxed. Also, insert whatever she said about Paul. Like, you know, right. something funnier than you. You just you were not very kind. I don't know what know, she said because I don't speak any Russian. But how, did, sure. how, how did she convey to them that, uh, she, that she knew that you weren't she Russian? She didn't. She stormed out pretty well, pissed off. Well, how did off. they find out that you didn't speak Russian? Well, there was a lot of things. Oh, yeah. And they closed that one down, so his secret is safe. That was just exactly. the funnier of all of them. <laughs> right. I love that. That's, that's interesting. It's just the grocery store is so ripe for hilarity. Yeah. Especially at Trader Joe's. I mean, you yeah. have a Hawaiian shirt, which is fitting for a Navy guy. <laughs> uh, you got the fucking... You're permanently on leave, so yeah. you got a stock thing. Trader Joe's has that fun bell you can ring when you make fun of a Russian lady. He you probably know? said there was Steven walk, like, like, like doing the walk and like, more cowbell or whatever you're fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Well, there was one guy named Nikolai, and I don't know if you remember the one on Santa Monica, but there was two bathrooms, and it was in the back where we kept all the produce and stuff, and there was a little wall. And I always used to irritate Nikolai, and he couldn't speak any English either. So he was waiting in line. There's two doors. Both doors are occupied, and Nikolai's mm -hmm. just standing there. He's like a stern, whatever, flat-top military Russian guy. So I'd say, Nikolai, and he'd, Russian, Russian. And I would go up <laughs> between the two doors and just start kicking each door and banging. Door, wow! Okay. And then run away, and Me leave Nikolai sitting there. So when people came out, like this one woman came out, she's like, "Why are you banging on the door?" I mean, she was in there with her kid, wow. and he's like, -ruz 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 -ruz. "All right, you just got to do all this yeah, stuff dude, that you're doing. Do all, all of that. All of this. But you're going to do that on a set, and then 
whatever you think you're going to do for a set, save that for the yeah. interviews that you do after stand-up sets. Because now I'm looking up Nikolai on fucking Facebook tonight just right. to see what that guy looks like. Mike you, Whalen, you tell everybody. Your, you tell your Russian uh, like, Trader Joe's stories, and then when people t I talk to you after the show, go, hey, you're funny. Speak only as walking. <laughs> like just to people yeah, on the dude. street. Yeah, be crazy and goofy with it. Obviously, you have a love for it because you came to life when you start doing yeah. those act things. Act outs. I would not have guessed act outs were in you, but you definitely yeah. like sold yeah, those great. stories. That's Thanks a fucking, so that's a great gift if you got that. So yeah. ride that hard. Thanks very, lot, very guys. fun. Nice to meet you. Mike Thanks Whalen, everybody. There All he goes. Right. Anything can happen. That's what's amazing is who knows what the F can happen in this show. Anything can. Put your hands together for David Friedman, everyone. David Friedman. Hi, guys. Okay, so I got to do a shtick. I wasn't really prepared because I did a shtick downstairs. But um, I have a cat named Mike, and he's like the coolest cat. But the one thing that he does that like really drives me crazy, and if you have a dog or a cat, he probably does this too. I come home and I, I'm, you know, Mike's really happy to see me, and I pet him, and he's like, "Oh, it's great." And then after I'm done petting him, he goes off and licks himself clean for the next hour. And like, I was like, "Okay, okay, Mike, you're trying to tell me something." So what happens is that I did an experiment, and I came home, and Mike was really happy, and I pet him, yeah, yeah. And then he goes off and cleans himself for an hour. And then I just go and I touch his head for a little bit. I just scratch his head for a teeny little bit. And he goes off and starts licking himself clean again. And I go, Mike, what's up? And he's like, don't tell me what's up, sticky fingers. I just watched you masturbate. <laughs> That's my Mike joke. Fuck yeah, there he goes. <laughs> I wasn't ready. It's Dave, all I have. David Friedman, fuck yeah. yeah. Thank you for uh, ta taking a break from eating Ellen's pussy to be with us tonight. Uh... <laughs> Thank you for laughing at me on that one. Hey, I thought you said no, it's, no dirty stuff. Like, you're talking about that's not dirty stuff. That's oh. funny stuff. Oh, Brian. okay. That's <laughs> a shockingly yeah, I mean, they're they're oh, it was funny stuff. They're married, okay. Red Man. It's fine. <laughs> uh... David, how long have you been on stand-up? My first night. Right, exactly. Put your hands together for David Friedman. First oh, yeah. night. All right. None of you have the balls. Look at him now. Now all of a sudden they're staring at him like, wow, this fucker did something. How yeah, actually, I was downstairs, too, and I got a laugh. But I love that. You told us that you did yeah, your shtick really, downstairs yeah, and you were going to really do your shtick again. Yeah, that, word, that, yeah. word, that word shtick. Yeah, Every time sure a comedian hears it, it's, yeah. like, uh, it's, just it's like your relatives going, I got a sketch idea for right, you. Yeah, I like exactly. your sketches. Uh, Tony's a comedian. Do one of your uh, bitty pies. <laughs> bitty pies? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so dirty. How long have you been jerking off in front of your cat? <laughs> Fuck yeah. And this is good, right? Oh, yeah. what? You guys don't? You're like, yeah, my dog's watching me. Okay, I'll turn oh, So this there's way. multiple animals involved in no, this. No, no, no. I, I just, just, just the cat. Just the cat. What's I your wouldn't... cat's name? Mike. Mike. Wow. Mike. Interesting. I don't like, yeah, everyone has like really weird names for their dogs and cats. It's like, it's either yeah. Mike yeah. or Steve or Jim. Yeah, you know, na name you it, know? give it a real name if you don't have any real friends in real life. <laughs> uh, you know, this this way you can have like a little buddy. Hey, Mike, uh, what happened today? You know, well, I I think when you not much. I'm a fucking cat, dude. Uh, I just watch you jerk <laughs> off again. So yeah, I'm not been, not been okay. too much hot watch on the TV cat. and beat it for a while. <laughs> I think when you name your cat Mike, it is probably a little weird to masturbate in front of Mike. Yeah, sure. totally. like, <laughs> yeah, yeah Mike exactly. sounds like he's got like a blazer on That's or right something. Yeah. Just, got back, just got back from work. I put him up back from yeah, work. Like, like, hey, man, I just finished eight hours in the yeah. hospital interning. Yeah. Finishing yeah. a pot pie. So I put him in a little today. French outfit. Do you, a little now, do you look outfit. at Mike in the eyes when you masturbate? Yeah, or you frequent, no. Behind, behind no, with you don't the back? No, you don't know. <laughs> your animals are always watching you, and you don't know that. I love your energy. Thank I've lived you. in uh, <clears throat> I've lived in the WeHo area enough to know. Really? I'm gonna, I'm are you gonna, top I'm or guess. bottom? I'm so. Uh, I've lived I've lived in the WeHo area for so long that I'm it. gonna. David, please yeah. for a second, can okay. you relax? Sure. I'm gonna take a moment to do something uh, that I've done that I did a few episodes ago. It's been a while, but I'm gonna play a game called Guess Those Cross Streets. I'm going to try to guess and tell me how close I am to the exact intersection that you live at. Are you willing to at least admit it if I'm right? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to guess. <laughs> okay. Great answer. Great answer. I'm going to guess. Uh, uh, I'm already right with the WeHo, right? No. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
I didn't know. There I was live a, in the Baldwin Hills. Whoa. Me and all wealthy black people. Holy shit! I don't even know where Baldwin Hills is. What part of WeHo is that? <laughs> West and South. Do we have a wealthy African American in the off, in the audience who could tell this white boy where the Baldwin? Oh, is? white boy! Hey, oh, hey, hi, hey, dude. Thanks, Brian, with your loud, with saying, your loudest microphone always. Yo, that's uh, your confidence of the guess. intersection, and then bet on it. Uh huh. Been like, give a hundred bucks if you guess. My and let me just answer that. That no, there's not a wealthy black man here at Kill Tony right now. Okay, no, we don't we don't have that kind of clientele. All right. I, okay, I didn't go there, but okay. Um. Horse by, the, of by, truth. by the way, do you get the way you just got very forceful with Landon to Tony? Do you, like if Mike looks away, do you get that angry at him? Like when he's frequently. Do you smear that, him? All of a sudden, you you. Yeah. Do you smear him with more cum? Yeah. No, I, I just I you know if he you gets up know. to leave because I would I would venture to guess at some point you get conditioned to needing Mike there. So if he gets up to go fucking climb a I tree, you're come. like get yeah, the fuck back here and watch me jerk yeah. off. Like Mike's my Viagra. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. How many pets do you have? Just Mike. Just Mike. Just Mike. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what do you do for work, David? This is your first night doing stand up. What's the story behind this? Is this something you wanted to do for a while? You were just jerking off next to your cat. Yeah, and you're and like, thought, you know, hey, you know what? I'm going to talk go, about yeah, this on stage go. tonight. Dude, but guess what? That's all you need yeah. sometimes. Just yeah. a little something out of the ordinary. Something out of the ordinary. I'm actually a TV producer. Oh, I could see that. You that, did an that, amazing that, job. That, you didn't that's, <laughs> that's the <laughs> I that's fucking that, set up. That's how quick it happens. What a I, great set. Wait, what a great is that now? Set it, now it's all coming to me. Now, now it makes sense. Is it all coming to you? Yes. Whoa! Yes. I see what you did there, you see son that? of a bitch. There you go. Um, Come on, my dick. What was David, that? Uh, what was that sound? Was it like Pac-Man hitting the ATM? <laughs> Somebody wants like something. money and Pac-Man. He yeah. leveled up in Red Bull. Fire Brothers. Okay. Thank hey, you. Pat Reagan's here, everybody. Hey, Usual hey, kill Tony hey, band hey, leader. Hey, baby. Can I? You know these just, two together is Watkins. Can I just er, say Reagan and Watkins? I have amazing. no. I have no fucking clue who Pat Reagan is. Uh huh. Hi, Pat. Wow, I'm David, DJ. you're really, uh, really. Don't shake his hand. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Pat's got calm hands. Damn it. Oh. Oh. That's what I was going with. I it. think. I think we need to get yeah. to the what what uh, what shows have you did we know do, have we seen some of your no, work? No, it's for PBS. You've never seen it. Some we might watch what's what, yeah like what, what? Yeah. this is a PBS crowd. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Hell okay, yeah. totally. totally. These guys all give to National Public Radio and PBS. All oh yeah, the time. frequently. <laughs> it was uh, it was a movie review show that was on PBS for three years, and it was like Siskel and Ebert but multicultural. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> I couldn't have picked a better sound myself. <laughs> David, right. so, tell us something, uh, something uh, else about yourself. So you jerk off in front of your cat? No, I don't jerk off in front of my cat. I just caught him once. Have you ever used your cat me. to jerk off? No, I've never Brian, used my cat. Whatever you're doing, I know that you Jesus. laugh at it really hard, but you have to, you have to take the dirty tone and just clean it. Do you up have any bit. other material, or is this like? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay, who um, cares? You're just trying to okay, change the subject okay. from no, your No, no, another jerk off joke, uh, and I used it downstairs. I got a big Why laugh. Shake my hand. Uh, what? <laughs> Why did you shake my hand? So that I can say we hooked up. All right, this is getting creepy. No, uh, um, I actually met J.J. <laughs> okay, fuck that. I actually met J.J. Abrams at the Producers Guild Awards on Saturday night. Cool. Do you guys know who J.J. Abrams is? Somebody yes. dropped the name right Star on Phil Tony. Star Trek. And I yeah, shook, we know J.J. Abrams, And David. I shook his hand. Yeah. And all my friends said, that's so cool, you shook his hand. And I said, well, yeah. And they said, did you take a picture? I go, no, I ran home and I jerked off. Because I could say I could hook up with JJ. JJ Abrams. only shook your yeah. hand because he thought you were C3PO. Uh, that must have been it. I have a red arm now. <laughs> Tony Hinch. This coming from Will Chamberlain. Okay. So Tony, let me follow this logic because yeah. you just shook Pat's hand. You're gonna go home and jerk off now. <laughs> to C3PO. <laughs> and Mike. I like that. That actually works. I can follow that. Wait, Mike, when you're not uh, uh, producing no, TV I, and you're I'm not, not I'm trying not, stand-up, what are you, like, legitimately... He doesn't even remember my name at this point. Mike's so, a cast name. You can call me Loretta. Okay. okay. David, stick with us. There David, you go. Like, what, what else are you, other than trying stand-up, like, what else have you uh, done for the first time? Like, is, is this going to set the tone for a lot of, No, like, I'm actually a platform and springboard diver, which nobody in the room can well, do. Well, that's interesting that's as shit. That's amazing. That's crazy that's, shit. Yeah. yeah. Got to look good in a Speedo. Yeah. But, like, for real, like, what about that... Drew you to it. I've been just. Well, I'm used to taking dives on stage. So That's the. Oh! Now he's not. He's not used to it. He's not used to it. 
He's not. Um, he's not used to that. This was his first time tonight. Uh, I'm short. So where? What are you short, jumping you into? Die. Swimming pools? <laughs> like well, I don't understand. Pools and jello? Like I, platform and you know Olympics divers? Oh, that's the type of level that you do it yeah. at. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, it's pretty well, cool. It just seems like an interesting gig to get into. You it know is. What I mean? like you just it's, jump no off No one else can do it. Anyone else here do it? Yeah, I didn't think so. Fuck you. Okay. Well, no, it's nice. not. It's not because maybe it's, open with that next time. It's not because it's. He's a diver with an attitude. <laughs> Jesus, I know, right? A <laughs> diver with it. What? Uh, what's the uh, camaraderie around the uh, pool like? Are you guys like like jabbing and jiving before the? Wow, I've never said that before. What? Have you guys? Uh, <laughs> you guys like hosting around and goofing and gibbly yeah. doobs? Yeah. But like, what's towel snapping? Towel right. snapping. But like, what's the uh, energy around? Like, are you joking around? Because obviously you had the uh, you know wherewithal to want to try to stand up. So were you the funny dude at the pool? No, actually. <laughs> were, you the, were you the funny yeah, guy in the shower? I was, I was the funny guy in the shower. No. You smacking on. all the guys yeah, with yeah, the wet yeah. towels in the there locker room. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Did you stay up on the oh, high dive long enough okay. to do like 10 minutes of jokes <laughs> yes. and then dive? And then I dive. Never waiting. Well, David, I'm going to tell you right now that if you stick with comedy, you're going to be the first one that jumps off a building and does eight flips on the way down. You got that right. There you go. No, I actually. Uh, You'll be able to really kill yourself in style with a hobby thanks. like that. You know what I mean? Like, Just what I was hoping for. No, it was really sad. David uh, jumped off the Andaz, but his landing was beautiful. It was just beautiful. Uh, the Romanian judge gave him a five. No, uh, the thing about diving is, is that it's really scary. It's like this. It's like getting front of, up in front of a bunch of people and performing. And yeah. believe me, you can fuck up and die. And I think just like diving, uh, this oh, is ending awkwardly. This is, en is it yeah, ending this awkwardly? Is, I think we're in the part right now where you sort of come back out of the water and you're just like looking around no, and people are like, yep, you did it, dude. No, because I didn't smack my balls up here at least. You son of a bitch. You there said you balls I thinking said it balls. would work. There you Ladies go. and gentlemen, David Friedman. There right. he goes. All we right. met him. We know him. <laughs> interesting, uh, interesting character, David Friedman. Very, uh, he gives off a very PBS producer vibe. He looked like Harpo Marx. <laughs> you know Harpo Marx? He looked like Harpo. With a trim. Yeah. Yeah. I pulled another name out of the bucket. It's another person who doesn't have a Twitter Hathorn. handle, which is always suspicious to me. Put your hands together for Nick Costas, everyone. Here we go. Wow, Bummer. people missing their spots. Bummer. That's not you, Nick? Okay. Put your hands together for Bo Laughman, everybody. Bo wow, Laugh favorite. <laughs> so why is there a share button on porn sites? They got like post to Facebook, share to Twitter, email a friend. Who's watching porn and thinks, you know what? Grandma would love this. <laughs> you know? I live in a weird area. There's a lot of massage parlors by me. I was walking by and I saw a sign and it said uh, Swedish massage, deep tissue massage, Thai massage, and then it said child massage. <laughs> I don't care how good that sounds, I couldn't afford it, so. <laughs> I'm actually working on a dating app for kids. It's called Tindergarten. <laughs> All right, I think that's the minute. Bo Laugh Man. <laughs> Bo, you've been on this show before. Yeah. Welcome back. How's life going? It's good. How long have you been on stand up in LA now? Uh, five months, four and, months. And before that? Uh, six years. Where at? Austin and Houston. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And you've been here five or six months. Yeah. Very funny stuff. Uh, I remember the Tinder Garden joke. I think you've done that on here before, right? Oh, I, d I w yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in your five years of doing stand-up comedy, have you written more than 60 seconds? Or is yeah. that just, that's just your go-to yeah, short Yeah, I thought one. I filled a minute with the, with with the first two, and then I just had that because it kind of fit with the last joke. So. Gotcha. I like yeah. your style. What do you do for work? Uh, I've been doing extra work lately. What have you been an extra on? <sighs> a lot of stuff. Uh, you could totally be Harlan Williams' stand-in on anything no that's shit. ever happened before. I've been before. doing uh, uh, 
body double for Eric Bana for a new Netflix movie. That's pretty fucking yeah, cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. I love that. Yeah. Um, what's he like? I didn't meet him. Wow. Yeah. They they. That's why they hired us. So they didn't have to hire him. You know. Incredible. You don't have to be a dick about it. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to get to know you, man. Uh, no, I'm just talking. What, he's uh, a dick to himself. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm what just a dick. are you? Uh, you you give off like a, a somewhat aloof vibe. Is that cons- like? No, no, I I don't know. Oh, I don't You're know. Like, right. I don't know. The most I aloof don't, answer. I don't get that. <laughs> the most aloof Maybe answer to the you look aloof accusation. Yeah, super aloof. Hell yeah, you are. Yeah. What are like the three your three favorite things to do in L.A. Other than stand up? Yeah. Uh, skateboard, ride my skateboard. For, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Is, ska- is riding my skateboard number two on the list? <laughs> Did you go from skateboarding to, to riding, riding my skateboard? skateboard? No, no. I think he amended the first clarifying. one. Come on. I was clarifying. No, no. Yeah. I think in your head. Don't worry, you saw Bo. It's one. all right. All right. <laughs> I, I, is, we don't all have to act like animals up here. Don't worry. Go ahead. Thank you. Is the third one going to be holding your skateboard? <laughs> yes. Skateboard, skateboard, holding skateboard. That's Rubbing really funny, though. Skateboard. That's really like that was a slip up, but that was really yeah. funny. No, no, yeah. And that was very you. Well, what else, what, else, what else are you into other than skateboarding? Uh, which, by the way, is like the only means of transportation that can also be confused as a hobby. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's like. Yeah. And it's both. It's great. Are you good skateboarding? I'm decent. Okay. Not great. You do like tricks and shit at the yeah. park. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you do like uh, you ever you like you have contests <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Trying so hard to think of a skateboard move. Well, that was the best. You ever done a back whimsy double dip was, chocolate chip? Oh, never done. Trying to think of who I ever done a hot chili it. grind. <laughs> ever <laughs> ever done a, a Danny Glover? Yeah. Ever done a beef? How about a beef nachos? A beef nachos. A beef are nachos. Like, are there like skateboard battles that happen and There's stuff? There's gotta be. I mean, I don't know. There's skateboarding. Gotta be. How about skateboarding, skateboarding is- dance battles? <laughs> yeah. It's it's totally like a dance battle. You <laughs> show up to a spot and you know. Is there like skateboard horse where like somebody does a <laughs> trick and you have to do this? There same is trick? skate. Yeah, we play. It's like flat it's, ground. It's just skate. called skate. Yeah. yeah, it's called skate. You ever roller skate? Uh, no. Yeah, or I have before. Yeah. Uh, how long ago was that? Uh, I did inline hockey when I was like second grade, third okay. grade. Okay. Oh so yeah. It's been a while since you put on the skates. Yeah, it's been a while. Do what you, do you think your skateboard friends would say if you showed up to the park wearing rollerblades? They would laugh and they but they'd be hyped. <laughs> <laughs> they'd does, be like, yeah. Does any of your material like involve like you like telling a story or something like that? Because I mean, I think I said the same thing last time that you know that Tinder Garden thing. That's so hacky. You you need to kind of get away from that shit. If you just Google Tinder Garden, there's a billion things that come up. You know, so you. Okay, yeah. uh, let me ask you this. First What's well, the most don't... personal joke to you? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> I've heard the uh, I've heard the old statement, Bo knows, but I yeah. guess in this case... I don't. You have no fucking in this idea, case, I huh? Do not have, know. have you ever, like, like Chris Fairbanks has a great story about, uh, like, running into a kid at a skate park on his skateboard and feeling like an asshole. Have you ever had, like, you know, uh, uh, a situation with, like, a younger skateboarder where you, like, fell and he, like, laughed at you, like Nelson and the Simpsons or something like that? Like, you know, because there's that, is that thing. It's like, you're a grown man and you skateboard. Yeah. Like, there's got to be something there. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 exactly. hold on. No, no, I'm, I'm saying you can I'm skate, until no, you, skate, sure. or, skate until you die, you know, guess, whatever, but, yes. like, I think you know. if you if you ride a skateboard, you're gonna fall so yeah. consistently that you're gonna fall in front of a group of girls, group of like old seventh people, graders, yeah. confused people. Like, sure. Like it's embarrassing. Oh, like e- even if you do something cool on a skateboard in front of something, it's not like they're gonna be like, oh yeah, like it. Like F- most likely I'm- they're gonna you're gonna fall and they're gonna laugh and then you're gonna go on with your day. So it's yeah, a part so of the skateboard they're, culture. They're, yeah. No, I mean that's yeah. that. Like talk about that. There's. N- no offense. There's no upside to skateboarding in front of anyone oh, ever. Yeah, yeah. It's basically what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. which I think is hilarious. Yep. But you do it because you love it, and that's yeah. cool. You know. Yeah. Do you have a job? Yeah, extra work. That's. But all other I do. than that, have you had any jobs other than? Since I moved here, that's all I've done. But it's been consistent. You've just like, been. I work like five or six days a week, so. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. that's good. You've just yeah. been Eric Banna's guy. That's been your main job. That's in only LA. been two days, but yeah. Oh. Do you talk about that? I feel like you should try to meet him that at some was point. Two days ago, so it's new. All new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So what you, well, how did how did you make money before that? I mean, like I, I I've only I graduated from college 
and then I moved out here. Where'd you graduate from? Uh, St. Edwards University in Austin, Texas. So you did college, uh, did comedy all through college then? I like dropped out and then went back and then kind of, but I was in Austin the whole time. I w did commercial production for a while and then uh, finished college and then uh, moved out here, yeah. What was your degree in? Uh, English writing and rhetoric. In rhetoric. Yeah, in rhetoric. Well, I mean, I guess yeah, skateboarding falls degree. under that. Yeah, huh? yeah. How would you make your friends laugh at St. Edwards? Uh, hey, Father O'Malley sucked my dick today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he did get it. That's kind of a lot of rhetoric. Too soon, too soon. Uh, no, no, no. I, I don't know. I don't know if I did make them laugh. So. And your real last name is Laugh Man. Yeah. Is that really true? Yeah, it's Laughman, but yeah, it's spelled. But it's spelled like, but it's spelled like Laughman. Yeah, it is. Is that really true? Yeah. Like, there's got to wow. be someone with that name in those frames down the hallway. That's amazing. Like comedians from like the '70s and '80s, <laughs> yeah. like Bo Laughman. Yeah, exactly. And he just has like laughing faces all over <laughs> yeah. his suit. You right. know? That would be nice. Like Wonder Fridays that... or something. <laughs> do, you, do you come from a funny family? Is your dad funny? Oh uh, yeah, you know. What does he do for work? He works for a water company. I don't know. Is your dad any more specific than you are about anything in life? Yeah. Like, if we were to ask yeah. Mr. Laughman, Laughman, he would be more. Uh, he would be way more specific. But can I be honest? I feel like he's fucking not. I feel like you got like he would be like, yeah, no, Bo's doing stand up. I mean, I guess kind of yeah. whatever. I mean, he works at a water company. Like, it's like the most plain. Yeah, Aqua, Texas. Yeah. But if he is sure. anything like you, that that should be like a father son comedy just yeah, being written right now. Yeah, the last one. We're not name. very similar, but maybe we are in some ways. I don't know. Yeah. What is he? Does he? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're not. I mean, you know. What's we're happening? <laughs> what, has he ever given you advice? Like, once you left college, you came out here, and you were like, Dad, I'm doing extra work. Or, I, I guess I am. I don't know what I'm really doing. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's like, he's no, like, yeah. hey, man, get specific. But does he embark any sort of wisdom on you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He has to, have, he's right? He's supportive. Yeah. yeah he's, he's well, you're young enough to fuck up for a while. Right. You know, like I think yeah. you can do extra work, and long as you're, are you going up at night? Are you hitting like a lot of open mics and stuff? I try to, yeah. Do it, man, because yeah. you're funny. But like, Thank I mean, I, I think you have time until your dad's just like, all right, just come yeah. home and slang water with pops. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. 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 And even then, if you if he if he asks you to come home and you get on a flight, you can be like, I mean, I got on the plane. I think I don't really know what happened, man. <laughs> like I just. I'm in Austin yeah. or Houston. I'm in Houston, no, or Dallas, El Paso. Frankfurt. I don't know where the fuck I, don't I know. am, Dad. I'm in Baja. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Bo, it was nice to meet you. We're going to keep flying through. Bo laughed. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, keep, keep rocking, Bo. He can say That laugh. was Bo the Laugh. Laugh Man. I'm going to call him Laugh Man. Those are the best. It's right next to the, the guy who wears the diaper. <laughs> Baby Man. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Gary Hoffman, everybody. Come on. Yeah, that's what Gary Hoffman. <laughs> wow. That's Aww. incredible. Love that almost. It's almost incredible how many people get scared as fuck once they see uh, what the show is. Put your hands together for... <laughs> Put your hands together for Clint Watson, everybody. <laughs> Hey, yo. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to be real vulnerable with y'all right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh. <sighs> I touched the dog's pussy one time. Uh, I dry hump my cousin. A lot. Not anymore, like when I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> I shit myself on a train one time high on ecstasy. Uh, had a crush on my mom, man. She had like big tits and shit. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger. When I was younger. <laughs> Clint Watson bringing out the barking dog, everybody. Clint Watson, everyone. Fuck yeah.
When red, red band. I'd yeah. Like, oh. Is this your favorite comic of the night? So yes. Far? <laughs> 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 when you say you touched your dog's pussy, I mean, like, did you put a finger in it, or you accidentally just, was holding I, it, or I, yeah? I just, the, this is uh, this is Brian Brian's bread and butter right here. Yeah. Is uh, gross punchlineless jokes. Uh, I'd I'd, I'd like to thank you. Uh, Clint, I, I'd like to thank you. For, you dressed so much better than uh, you performed tonight. Like, it's incredible. It's really... All right. Jesus Christ, lady. Thank you so much. I know you're very angry. My God. No, no, what happened? Did you once get raped by a gay magician or something? Like, what are, you so, what are you so angry about right now? Stop saying bye, lady. Jesus. So you know, fucking power freaks in the audience. You know what I feel like watching that? I feel like we were the guy who potentially uh, was going to hire you like at Target. Like that was like a job interview. Yeah. And and all we did was say, so what, uh, tell me a little about yourself. Yeah. And you just, I feel like you've given off that list of personal uh, anecdotes before. Like that's, right? The best attributes. This outfit that you're wearing now, how many graves did you have to rob to uh, put, the, put this exactly together? Because it seems like it's a few different graves. It's, it's my only one. Really? Right. That's the main suit. Now, I also noticed that uh, you actually signed up. You, again, this is another person who doesn't have a Twitter handle. But, however, you put Clint Watson, and in parentheses, you put bow tie. Now, yeah. why, did you, why did you write that on the, uh, on the piece of paper? So you would know. <laughs> but, 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 but wouldn't I know if I pulled your name out that you were the guy in the bow tie because I'd see you anyway? How would I know? Look, let's be honest. Clint's a pretty sweet name. Someone yeah. could run ahead of him and be like, no, I'm Clint. And then you're like, fuck off. There's no oh, bow tie on you. Oh, I see. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> just say it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And also, you should have just said, that's my nickname when he asked you, because that'd be amazing. What was that? But <laughs> what was that, though? Were, were you called me bow tie around the saloon. Was that a bet? Did you, did, did, did you like so lose funny. a bet? Or did, like, what was that Are all about? Are you talking about, about the material he did yeah, or why I, you yeah. stressed that way? Yeah. So I, I did some I, I did some material downstairs, and then I was just like, you know what? Let me just um, barf out every disgusting <laughs> thing <laughs> right. about yourself on stage. Let me right. be really vulnerable. Yeah. And Are those all the beginnings of actual uh, stories or bits, or were those just like this would be funny to say? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I love that you did it in like a. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> The voice you gave him is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, just... I, I really didn't know if it'd be funny or not. I was just, I was just letting you into my like my soul. Man. So you like your mom, you look, look, with your dogs. It's, 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 it's important to 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 go dark, you know, go real and go dark. That's and go what personal. Right. Yeah, but it, it has to be something more than. Yeah, you got to get to something. Uh, uh, yeah. What's your favorite drug? My, my favorite. Yeah, because you look like you're from the cover of an Esquire magazine that's in a methadone <laughs> clinic. <laughs> Even I, even I sometimes laugh at my own stupid fucking things. That was good. That was yeah, good. no, I know. Thank uh, you. It was, it it was crystal meth. Right. And how long? How long did you do that for? Uh, from fifteen to sixteen. Wow. Ages fifteen and sixteen. Yeah. Wow. I ended up in young offender in jail, so that was when like I stopped. For trying to touch your mom's tits, or like what? Like, no, for real. Uh, robbery. Yeah. Oh yeah. What'd you rob? Cabs. Interesting. What? Yeah, what? I, I know. I know. I know. It wasn't a clothing store. Uh, <laughs> you what son of a bitch. How would I did do that. The bay, dude. Really? What did you? Yeah, what, like a hand, like a bunch of pops. Because I didn't have a lot. I didn't have a lot of stuff. I was on my own at fourteen. So I didn't. I, I didn't have clothes, and a lot of people around me had clothes right, and stuff. Right. Right. So I was like, I'm just gonna go into the bay, get it two armfuls of clothes. The bay. Just, What's just the bay? Walk out. What are you talking about? What's the bay? Oh, it's a it's a store in Canada. Oh, okay. You're from Canada. Yeah. That's why you're dressed like that. All right. Now I get it. Now I know what's all about. What part? What part? All, all of this stuff you're saying is fascinating. Yeah, I wish dude. you'd you know tell one story from there. I think if you you know one one of the big uh, hardest things about comedy is getting on stage and getting people to just listen for even yeah. longer than you know thirty seconds. But you just start like I was on meth, age yeah. fifteen, sixteen, and started robbing cabs, and then yeah. go right there. I think most people be like, okay, fuck it. What else you got to yeah, say? Man. Like, yeah, man. Talk about that. I haven't heard. Anybody I haven't heard anyone say that on. Stage. Yeah, yeah. But everyone's wanted to, you know, fuck their mom at some point. So I just wanted okay, to, like, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> 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 I was hoping for laughter, but I'll take a fucking, I'll take a song instead. 
Oh, uh, uh, that song makes everything okay. How do you how do you go about robbing cabs? Like, is there a go to line, or like do you put out uh, a gun actually, first? I got pretty good at it. Uh, For sure. Like, what you go? Like, what's? How do you start that whole process? So a buddy, uh, okay, uh, knife. <laughs> You know, you get it. Well, I use the knife. Yeah. Um, like, I feel real bad about it. Right? Sure, sure. Like, we don't give a fuck about, about that. Like, that, <laughs> that. That part's I boring. This is a live is show, society. dude. Get to the I good just, shit. Yeah. You take your knife, and what do you do with it? Yeah, so I was in the passenger seat, and... Uh, You'd sit shotgun in a cab back when there was actual taxi cabs? <laughs> yeah. Well, at this point, because I was beside him, right? So I would just, you know, once you pull it out, people have a tendency to get surprised, so... Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fucking night. But I'd calm him down. Tendency? I'd calm him down. I'd just be like, look, you know, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, my God. Typical Jesus Canadian. Christ. Everything's just going to be okay, like man. I just want the money. With yeah. that accent, uh, with can, the bow tie. Yeah, you, I, you are the smoothest I know. Yeah. 1940s knife robber yeah. I've ever met well, in my it's life. It's all good, baby. Chill, baby. It's, it's all good, good, baby. Hand over your money. <laughs> Sweetheart, <laughs> don't move so fast. Hand over your money, or I'm gonna stab your ass. Need something like that. It is. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Great Thank you. song. Great song, dude. Thanks. <laughs> it is pretty crazy. Uh, like, I don't understand. Like, uh, I've never heard of a, a, a robbing Canadian. Like, what part of Canada are you from? Detroit? Like, what? Is, what, what? What are we Toronto, talking about here? Toronto. Toronto. But I, I, I'm. Most, re I can't most imagine. recently, Toronto, but I moved around a lot when I, when I was younger. Can you imagine a Canadian? You're, you're driving a taxi, and a fucking Canadian pulls a knife on you. Just like, just like sorry, I have to do this. Um, uh, but I'd really thank you if you gave me your money. Um, oh, sure. You can have all of it. Would they ever fight back? <laughs> One guy, yeah. Please and, tell that story. And, and he hit you so fucking hard. Knife goes on the ground, right? Yeah. Because if you know how to throw mm. a punch, and there's some fucking punk... Canadian meth head asking for. <laughs> I wish maybe it would have knocked some sense, but right. uh, but no, no, that didn't happen. You went to reach for the knife and he got cut. And, yeah. Oh shit! You fucking. Yeah. What did what, what, what? How bad did he get cut? It was bloody. It, it was, was bloody. pretty bloody. God. I don't want to say I'm. Sm that's horrible. I'm a horrible person, man. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's the best. That's, 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 we knew that from your well, material. Look, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. We know that. But the all the story. <laughs> All the stuff you started with, you know, it, it it all makes a little more sense now. And like, yeah, a lot I of you, I, I mean, I like your style. I'm a lot of transformed, your, a lot of your though. I'm no, it's good. It's individual. good. It's yeah. good that you're not doing any of that stuff anymore. Just you're definitely. I'd rather uh, have you, you know, share that you touch dogs' pussies than you know stabbing guys in cats. Can we go it's back? Right. It's a progression. So it's what, a progression. <laughs> what? I, I think there's going to be something there. You know, I think you. I think that if you uh, if you really like, if you become a like a comedy addict, you know what I mean, and you use this as an outlet. I, how uh, many times have you been on stage? Uh, this would be. Number three, right? Oh, there yeah, you go. yeah. If you, well, if you count Marty's, I went to Marty's. No, no, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. No, man, but I, I really don't. I don't want to like do that because it's an amazing, it's an amazing place, sure. and it's really supportive, right. and like everyone really seems out. really awesome. Point, you know what I mean? There, like I don't want over there. Oh, Point, I figured this whole thing out. I think you're Oliver Twist. <laughs> I think Marty's Fagan, and I think this crowd needs to get on board with my references. Uh. <laughs> Clint, I feel like you're such a bad Clint that if Clint Eastwood was here, he would change his name. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you're you. You're so fucking quick with those, uh, dude. Show me where that button is so I can hit it when you do all your pee poop fart fart jokes, all right? You fucking idiot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Unbelievable, this fucking guy. I think Bronger is spot on, though. I think there is a very interesting quality about you when you first start uh, yeah, you're talking. When you grab the mic, yeah, yeah go. Well, and I think it's just honing in on like like you seem very vulnerable and and uh, right away. But yeah, you have just... some edgy jokes, very cutting, you know. And, uh, and the urge to go vulnerable is not a bad idea. Just don't get on stage and go, "I'm going to get vulnerable right now." Like, yeah, you don't have to yeah, set it up like yeah, that. You know what that. I mean? Just go ahead and say something vulnerable. It just it was it's not something I planned to do. That's what that's all right. So it was just like yeah. so I was just, sitting there and I was like. I'm just so lesson learned. Come up with a fucking yeah, plan next yeah, time. Thank you. Yeah. Go up there, stab yeah. the audience. No, <laughs> no, no, don't, don't do it, bow tie. Don't do it. And remember, you're you're, you're more than just a bow tie, Clint. Yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't I always that. I wouldn't always write bow tie next to your yeah. name. Uh, but you said that's your only suit. Yeah, now you, it is. What do you What do you mean now it is? You I have blood on the other side. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> Wait, the g- <laughs> well, uh, I just want to I just want to take uh, take a moment to uh, you know thank you for right. for not killing us at all. At You're welcome. Point throughout that. And night. another guy it's like still to- early. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh my god! That's uh, wow, too. Man. It just feels too real now that we know what we know, man. You yeah. Know? <laughs> but how can you stab it? You're so slow. All of your movements. <laughs> yeah, it really yeah, is. Yeah, I'm pretty like chill, man. I'm pretty laid back. So I love that. What do you keep in that pocket? What is that sticking out there? It's a hanky, man. Oh, oh wow. Hanky. Yeah. Fuck yeah, a little hanky for your shanky. <laughs> 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 Only half a lap on a good <laughs> shank joke. Okay. Uh, do you ever blow your nose in that thing? No, it was just that was a very aggressive move, and I was wondering if you were waiting for an applause after you did that, or like. Sherlock right. Holmes comes in the room. He's like, Dr. Watson, it's time to go. And he walks off stage. Uh, yeah. I'm improvising. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Do, you, do you do a lot of <laughs> hanky work in your... That was, yeah. Now, um, if you were to meet the cab driver that you attempted to stab tonight, oh, yeah. uh, what would you have some sort of, like, apologetic... Uh, would you have some remorse or would you be like, you fucking deserved it, man? No, absolutely. It would be, you know, I'm very sorry, you know. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you think he would say if he saw your set tonight? He'd probably say, I touched my dog's pussy. <laughs> Do you have uh, a girlfriend that's alive? Do I have a girlfriend? I, I was married for 10 years, out. actually. I was married for 10 years. Really? Oh, shit. Yeah. What happened? Widow? Um, we said... <laughs> We just we started seeing the world differently. We started seeing the world differently. How and, so? Uh, you s- um, she left or you left? I left. Well, it it became mutual, but it, it, at first it was you know I said I needed some time and stuff. I wanted to see the world and get out, and she was more, she was roots. Yeah. She, had, she wanted to put roots down. Really she was family roots. oriented, and, and I never really was able to. Uh, okay. Thank yeah, you so yeah, much. Yeah, Clint yeah. Watson, Leave everybody. Me Clint oh, Watson. That's personal shit, yeah. There he goes. Clint Watson, everybody. Much. Fuck yeah. Like a young Billy Crystal meth. <laughs> anyway. Let's fucking keep plowing through this. Actually, let's go to our regulars and we'll get one more person up. Uh, we'll, 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 get, we'll get one more person up if we have time after the two regulars. I'll pull again out of the bucket. Uh, going uh, first this week out of your two regulars, there's two people who write and perform a brand new minute every single week. Uh, and then after we get through those two, we're going to do one more out of the bucket. Uh, but going up first, uh, she just got back from doing gigs in Las Vegas. Known for her nervous style, writing and performing a new minute every single week. Always nervous, always jittery, hopefully better. Put your hands together for Melissa Esslinger, everybody. Yeah, I went to Vegas for the first time this weekend, and um, it was scary, Um, but cool. Um, I had to gather my thoughts. I'm sorry. You said be better in it. (laughs) Jesus, I just crashed and burned, can I? All right, so you guys, I just went to Vegas this weekend. That was cool. And I realized, you know how when you're a kid and you have that friend who, like, has really bad parents, so you like to hang out there because you can do shit? Um, That's kind of like what Vegas is, like, just this (laughs) place where there are no rules. Um, Nobody says no. Um, I was confused by like why I was seeing kids there. Uh, they looked lost and they were with their parents. <laughs> and um, I think we have Chuck E. Cheese to blame for uh, the casino behavior. You got through it. You fucking did it. You come out. You stumble. You st- you. St- Start to, it's unbelievable. You have everything there, and you did it, and you did a great job. And meanwhile, you stumble on, on punchline-less nothings in the beginning that don't deserve a laugh. And then you apologize, and then you had to restart. And for no reason, because you had it all the entire time, and you delivered it perfectly. Why do you think uh, you felt the need to stop and apologize in the beginning? Well, because when did I freak you feel out, like my a brain joke just didn't... stops. No, my brain just shuts up. It's the only time it's well, quiet, Well, if, <laughs> if you convince yourself that... If you convince yourself of that, then that's always going to happen. And right. You'll, and for your entire career, you'll go, yeah, my brain just stops. Like, you right. have a brain that's absolutely different than everybody else's. Meanwhile, if had you just 
took one more breath instead of saying, I fucked up, I'm, I, I lost my thoughts, I'm sorry. Because that's sort of a repeating theme that we've seen a lot is this apology thing that we're trying to get yeah, through. Yeah, don't, don't, don't apologize. And, and here's the thing. Uh, Every comedian forgets, forgets jokes all the time. Yeah. And all you just do is you just take a second yep. and wait for it to come and just don't. Because yeah. nobody knows. Yeah. No one sees what's going on in your brain. No one's like, oh, shit, the record's skipping. They don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, they don't know. No one you know? has So I'm just saying, just understand yeah. that. You know what I mean? You have, yeah. you have protection totally. inside yourself. And the, and the beginning is the part where everyone's going to judge you for the rest of the show. So if yeah. at the beginning of your set, if you fuck up, it's really hard to come back from that. Usually. You can right. literally say anything you want anything other than I'm sorry. It's just simply the two words that you can't say. Yeah. Like, have you ever been on stage and said the N-word? No. Right, but you laugh like that. <laughs> but let's just say that I'm sorry is the new N-word, okay? Because there's no need for you. I know, it's mind-boggling to you, but it, but it's Especially not an option. I just throw it I'm around sorry. so carelessly. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry is the new N-word, and, yeah. and uh, like all comedians are white. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, no one can say the N-word yeah. if they're white, right? Right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Shouldn't just what I'm throw saying that word is, around. is you should literally not say that on stage anymore. Don't you've say given it. you've given yeah. more yeah. I'm sorry's in it just uh, comes out three months as a kill Tony, right? Yeah. It just actually, doesn't come out. It's and, not an option. And it's anymore. been longer not than an, yeah. it's been longer than that. I mean, seriously, if this might if, if this can't be fixed, you're never gonna be able to progress it's, past it. One of the interesting spots that you're in and what this live audience is witnessing right now is that you're in a position as a regular on this show to where we have to, for viewers' sake and for our own, eliminate the shitty habits that happen when we all start stand-up comedy that we've all been guilty of. Yeah. But we have to eliminate them yeah. as hard as we can. And the I'm sorry thing is a, uh, it's almost becoming your get her done. Right. And, I, and it's like, and you really don't want that. People no. don't want to buy I'm sorry merch after your show. But I did show. come out I'm with sorry. this. Now, now I'm thinking Larry the I Cable Guy is just saying that to I'm just, he's sorry. Get yeah. her done. Get her, get her done. Get her. <laughs> right. And yeah. it's, you know, it's one thing to like take this in and go, yeah, I'm going to actively try to like not do this next time. But, you know, obviously like with any of uh, part of stand-up, like just doing it and getting the repetition right. of, yeah. of, you know, when this scenario <laughs> presents itself again, hopefully you're, you know, cognizant of like, all right, I fucking don't. Like try to talk through, like Brett Ernst always says, like staying in the pocket, which I think is a great yeah, like, yeah. term. Totally. So just like try to force yourself to even if you were like, I forgot, like just start talking about Vegas. Like I'm sure yeah. you had some other opinions and stories. Just yeah. like start yeah. to kind of just not bail, you know, just like exactly. tell yourself, like, don't bail on anything. And I think yeah. if you just start with that, then yeah. uh, jokes right. were so good, too. Yeah. Like a, a genuinely good perspective, a unique take on exactly. what, what is an just an overdone thing that everyone's at Vegas is crazy but and that's like it was like a really interesting way to look at it just like you're the bad parents house this fucking genius <laughs> it's a really good joke and Thank it's you. even better coming out of your youthful you know sort of naive perspective and likability that people can read coming off the stage all of a sudden we picture you sort of like just doofing around Vegas like whoa <laughs> this is crazy and it's a very fitting joke for you so <laughs> on top of it being written well and performed well after apologies uh, I love that you're writing stuff that's in your voice and tone and really cool stuff. We just have to stop apologizing. And it's going to be fun uh, a year or two from now when the many Kill Tony fans that there are are always going to, I can just feel it, they're always going to mention, you know, it's so fucking amazing how we got to watch Melissa Esslinger grow. You know, you're a little bit different than all the other regulars in that you came in extremely green and you have so much potential and we see these little fundamental mistakes along the way. But at the end of the day, your writing and your performing is shining through. So thank you so much, Melissa. Yeah, Thanks Melissa. She did it again. Melissa lights out at Slinger. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, our other regular, um, who's been writing and performing a new minute every single week, not out of the bucket, uh, has been with us for a couple months now. And uh, here we go again. Put your hands together for the silence. You know her from Kill Tony. You love her from Kill Tony. It's Vanessa Johnston, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm an atheist, which sucks because I'm afraid of the dark. And we only have one holiday, Black Friday. <laughs> I'm a devout atheist. I wear a cross to celebrate the death of Jesus Christ. 
I hope there is a God so that I finally have someone to blame for my daddy issues. That way if someone was like, hey, is everything okay? I could be like, no, not really. Our father <laughs> keeps just making more children to replace the ones who die. There are seven billion people on the planet. How many times does he have to come? <laughs> <laughs> That's a minute, Vanessa Johnston. Yay. She nailed it. <laughs> Got it. Us Did it again. What's that? Leaving us hanging at the end. What are you talking about? What do you I'm mean? I'm saying it, there was a, there was a it would just ended. Well, yeah. she was done. Like, yeah, it ended on a laugh. And uh, I think she was expecting the cap, but we knew that it was a minute. You did it. Uh, you're right there. That's It's an interesting thing because you've only been uh, a regular for a couple few months, but I feel like you already have your uh, finger on the pulse of exactly what a minute is, which is always fun to watch. Uh, you know, it's just a difference that you see out of these people out of the bucket and somebody on stage. And I love that because if you know what how long a minute is, then you definitely know how long a three-minute set is and a five-minute set is. And it's a good thing to know is to have that internal clock in your head. This is your guys' first time seeing Vanessa Johnston. First impressions? Um, very uh, comfortable and po You seem like you are uh, got a good grasp on like what your voice is uh, going to be and, and start, you know, there's good startings of that. Um, I don't, I'd like to just get more, just like, as like a performance thing, like, I don't know, I want more energy. More like, energy. Have you? Just because I feel like I could help sell some of the stuff, but also maybe the, the energy, vocal changes, like inflection, maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. I could feel that. Well, but if, that's, I, I if think... that's if that's how you talk, if that's how you really are, right. yeah. This, I mean, I I feel like one of the hardest things to be on stage is yourself, and this right. seems like you're being you. You know, you do seem like a low energy I feel like person. It's a that's fine. It's I feel like, like it's fine. Fine. You know? the problem is when I like talk with energy, I talk too fast. Well, how so you're talking like, right now is how you weren't talking during. No, the I set. know. Yeah. Well, I think so like like that was a nervous party. That was a nervous. Right. Vanessa. I think this is you, and that's yeah. what I was saying. Like I would, I want to see that person. And you can hear it better, also. Yeah, you're, okay. you're on your voice more, which is definitely right. helpful. It also helps if you. I would recommend moving more towards the front of the stage. Like okay. I feel like you were sort <laughs> of under that ball. Yeah, it's like a hat. Uh, I, I feel like I liked I liked your perspective. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it was interesting. Most atheists kind of just talk about, oh, you guys who believe in God are all dumb. Mm -hmm. And you were kind of an atheist who's like, boy, I wish there was one, though. You know, right. so I, I think that's I haven't seen that a lot, which is cool. Um, and that's that's another thing that's really hard for comedians to find is just their unique snowflake, you know, perspective. Mm -hmm. Like we all have one. We just kind of have to find it. So I think you're. You're getting there. I think you kind of you know tighten up the jokes a little bit and get to it a little faster, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but yeah, it was good. I love the Black Friday atheist holiday thing. I think there's even more that you can you know maybe delve into a little bit there. Like you know, unlike, Martin, unlike, Martin. unlike you believers, you know, I actually get something on my holiday. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> good yeah, funny. carnage. Exactly. Yeah. Like <laughs> fifty-five inch televisions for thirty-nine dollars or whatever. You know? Or Martin Luther yeah. King yeah. holiday. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you guys, have, that, you guys have some Martin Luther King inside joke. I don't know about you two, uh, but uh, another great new minute. Uh, very impressive as always, Vanessa Johnston. Everybody, yeah, good work. she's on Twitter at Vanessa Johnston. You guys want to go in the bucket one more time? Bucket, 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 bucket. Here we go. Bucket. Bucket. Let's close the show with a bang, shall we? Let's see what happens when we bring up You're Bruce Gray. What's up, guys? Uh, I did a show in Bakersfield recently. It was a blast. Uh, it was crazy. I was on stage, and uh, during my set, the sound overtook the entire bar like this. Sorry. And uh, and I was like, hey, to the bartender, I was like, can you check out what's going on? And he opened the emergency exit and found out it was a woman banging her head on the door. And he was like, uh, hey, there's a comedy show going on. You can't do that right now. Uh, and then she, he sent her around away, and then she came in the front door, and she stood 10 feet in front of the stage, and uh, she took out a box cutter and started cutting herself on the wrist. Yeah, I know. I know. Like this. Not... Like that. So she was there to do one thing. Steal my thunder. She just 
She wasn't there to kill herself. <laughs> so uh, I called the cops from the stage. I said, uh, hey, there's a woman down here cutting herself with a box cutter. And the lady was like, okay, so she has a weapon. And I could hear cops in the background like, yes. And I was like, no, she's not that dangerous. And she was like, too late, click. Fuck Thank yeah. you, guys. Bruce Gray, nailing it. Ballsy move, hitting the microphone. Yeah, a sorry, I didn't realize it uh, was going to go on a, all on a podcast that gets listened sorry. to by hundreds of thousands of people with headphones yeah. on. But, uh, smart yeah, you sorry. Might, might just want to say there's like so, so some thumping. Cause when yeah, you, yeah. When you said, uh, uh, you know, it took over the sound system, I thought like someone, something was happening with yeah, speakers right. or something. And then I had to adjust to, oh, it was someone banging their head on, on, a, on a door. You know, but way to way to turn it. Like I, I liked I liked the turn. I was like, okay, is he just going nowhere? And it was just like, okay, just, cool. You know, yeah, I felt like it was going nowhere. It's ironic like... how all of us know exactly how to slash our wrists <laughs> and how not to. I, Downward, not to the side. I like you. I've been a fan uh, since I saw you as the catcher on the Sandlot. <laughs> um, you know. Thank you. I will take that. I'll take. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremiah. Very aggressive horn. Yeah. I felt like it was going nowhere. I looked over mid set and get like, disapproving looks for hitting the microphone. Like, oh shit! Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, a, it's annoying to the listeners. I can. I mean, you're not going to get the tweets that we're going to get of this. <laughs> what was up with that fucking giant lesbian at the <laughs> end banging the microphone? You know what I mean? But we're going to get. Who that. are your comedy influences? Uh, I. It's really funny to say. Uh, one, I was like, I don't even know how old I was. I stayed home from school. I lied from being sick. And I saw Matt Bronger on, Whoa! A, what? Oh. on a live at live at Gotham. Really? I swear Holy to shit. God. From uh, it was like 2008. Yeah, it's you, so. Adam Devine, Tommy Davidson. Holy uh, shit! Yeah, man. Kind of nice. cool to be on here. Very fuck kill. Thanks, buddy. That's so uh, fucking cool. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm glad to deprive you of your education. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've never seen you either. I, I really like you. Though. You got a cool voice, and you're you you definitely own the stage when you. Thank grab you, that man. Yeah, good present. You have a cool voice. So coming from you, that's. Cool, man. Thank oh, you. Thanks, man. I love the joke. I love what you did. I think expand more and get more passionate and explosive at how angry you really are at the chick yeah. for trying yeah. to steal your thunder. Yeah. Like, yeah, she's trying to steal your thunder, but the fucking bitch. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what you really thought. Like, how you really felt. Having about, an emotional like, connection to a story like that is just going to help people who weren't there yeah. and don't know about it just jump on board more. And, and expand. And, 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 you know, you might. You know, I made a joke about we all know how to cut our wrists, but, like, you might want to just say that. Like, yeah. Side note. You know, they, you know people... If you cut downward, that you're really doing it side to side. That's just for show. Side note, you can't kill yourself by cutting downward. If you want to kill yourself, cut downward. I misspoke wrong, but I'm going to continue. That's, to <laughs> that's what – Owen Wilson. Period. Owen Wilson, he did the sideways thing. That's why – Bruce, he, it was so nice to meet you. Yeah, you were the last you, one on Kill cool. Tony. There he goes, Bruce awesome. Gray, Good everybody. Job. He's on Good Twitter, job. Bruce Gray, Bruce, G-R-A-E. Guys, look at this. Remember, remember that blank sheet of paper? RyanJEbelt.com. Buy your Kill Tony poster prints. That's everybody. Adam Ray, Matt Bronger. Guys, what do you have coming up that you want to promote? Adam Ray, Adam Ray. T uh, you can check out my podcast with Brad Williams about last night. I've got a yes. show on TBS coming out with Eliza Schlesinger called Separation Anxiety starting that. March 8th. So uh -huh. tune into that. Yeah, stand. Beautiful. Adam Ray. Or uh, Matt Bronger. Uh, I've got a, a web series right now on, on, on Comedy Central Digital called White Flight that I hope everybody t checks out. Love um, that. And uh, I'm going to be on. I'm on Agent Carter uh, this beginning of this year. So fucking cool! That is amazing. It's fun. Congratulations fun. on that. Thanks, one, one of your newest X Men, everybody. Matt <laughs> Bronger, uh, Jeremiah Watkins, Patty Reagan on Twitter. What else, guys? At Jeremiah Stam on Twitter. Uh, just a sketch on Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, can we can we get a big round of applause for at Josh Martin Comic who makes this shit happen every single week? Live audience, thank you so much. We'll see you guys soon. Good night. Thank you.